Hey, what's up, dudes? Kubli Khan here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Automatron DLC. We have beaten the Mechanist, and as you can see, she's just hanging out happily with their little sparks I bought, doing what she can to fix the Commonwealth for reals this time. Now, we are on a little exploratory experience, seeing what's happening within the Mechanist halls. Who is she? Where did she come from? A variety of other interesting things. And Ada and myself in matching red. We look good. Now, I am extremely overweight, and it's interesting because, uh, so is my suit. We're both actually have too much stuff that we can't carry, and Ada, also overweight. But all things considered, let's just walk around and enjoy this environment that we have now for the Mechanist. You see that she has covered her walls with these hand-drawn, like, suits that she's done to try to exemplify this character she's created. She also has a lot of useful things to pick up. There are a lot of targeting cards, there are a lot of just basic clothes. Actually, hold on. Drawing of the Mechanist. Yeah, I'll take that. Bobby pin box. Ooh, another Sentry Bot model. That's exciting. Let's, uh, let's listen to this. Oh, my light is on. How unuseful is this? Okay, there we go. Let's, uh, get a look at it correctly now. Welcome back, Isabel. Select entry. I love how we just break, we like, screw her whole worldview, and now we're messing with her stuff. Just, uh, Kublai Khan is not the kindest of all people, I guess. But, uh, you know, that's how Bethesda games work. You just, uh, you always rifle. Up and running, now I hope it's the same luck with the rest of this facility. Ooh, interesting. Incredible entire wing devoted to Robobrain. See any robots quite like this, except in a few of the comics I've read. And the brains, they're still preserved after all this time. Hmm. Potential seem limitless. I've managed to update a few of them to handle some of the menial tasks. That's pretty cool. I have a new mission for the safety of the Commonwealth. I think I can program the robots here to safely police the surrounding area. Interesting. I could really make a difference here. Oh, that's... Turned out even better than I'd hoped. Sparks gave a very approving beep. I even added voice augmentation to it. It's strange how it makes me feel so confident when I put it on. It's like being a different person. That's really cool. I like hearing that a bit, like, addition of who she is. I gotta say, though, it's amazing how much she was altered through this process. Like, she completely became someone so different and someone so blinded by the hope of helping so many people that she missed out on, you know, like, Outclassed by the the unstoppables outclassed by the mechanist. Oh, that's really cool. She's really childish in a way I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, I'm extremely childish So if I was to blame her for it, I would be might as well blaming myself for being childish This is taking a lot of walking slow So I'm gonna see if I actually can turn Ada into some walking tank carrying machine Because I have just too much stuff and I want to continue picking up some of these things. So I'll come back in a second Okay, I'm happy with this. We have gotten our uh, Ada. I mean, she doesn't look nearly as cool anymore, but she's now able to carry 460 pounds of stuff. Before, she was carrying 200. So, this is a nice new change. I know, I, I she looks so weird walking, though. It's almost, it's very disconcerting, but I mean, she has all these baggage, baggage, bags. God, words are tough. So all these bags on her, she's really prepped for this, so I think this is the right move to do. Oh, goodness, I can walk again, I can run, I can jump! Oh, goodness. Ada, it is so nice to be able to move again. I know we can loot, loot things without worry. Oh, uh, it is wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna be able to loot a little bit now. I'm gonna be able to give a real good look at everything. Um, did I just kill Sparks? Thank God. I just killed Sparks. Oh my god, I just killed Sparks. I am so sorry. I thought it was another... S oh my god. Isabel? Is... Isabel? <clears throat> oh god, I am so sorry. I, uh... I... I thought it was just a different iBot. Thanks again for helping me try to make this right. Uh... Don't worry. Don't worry. It needs to be done. I wish I could do more. Being the mechanist, it helped. I found the idea, this drawing, 
at a ransacked caravan. It was like some sort of hero that someone had created. <laughs> Even made their own posters. <laughs> I took what I could and decided I wanted to bring that hero to life. It was too late to save that caravan, but becoming the mechanist was my way of keeping hope alive. That's really cr that's cute. Um uh all this inspired by a drawing. I know how it sounds, but the only things I had besides robots were comic books. I used to dream about being a hero. Everything just came together. I thought the mechanist was the next logical step. You tried. At least you tried. It's more than most people do these days. True. I mean, you killed a lot of people. But I think we'd both agree. I'd be better off if I never found this place. True. Unless we can make the world better. So, do you not care about the fact that I have just murdered your first Excuse friend? Me. I'm sorry. I know this must be a real pain to deal with those robots. You, you holding up? How are you holding up? Not bad, not good. Coming to terms, I suppose. Uh. <clears throat> be careful out there. With some of the modifications I added, the bots can be a little dangerous. Don't, Don't worry. worry. I got this. And I've no doubt there's a lot more where that came from. Well, shit. She seems to not really worry too much about the fact that I've totally demolished her first friend. I, I felt terrible about it, but since the game hasn't really, like, uh, done anything to penalize me for it I, uh, I I guess I won't do a restart or anything I was thinking that was what I was gonna have to do because uh, she was gonna be really pissed and I didn't want her to be super pissed when I wanted to keep the mechanist as a friend I mean, that's something that I care about is trying to generally keep people happy in this world uh, secondary robot workbench I see Ooh. so they have a bunch of these really interesting mechanics that are just kind of laying around um, hubris Magnus Logs. Log 1. Dawning of a new age for the Commonwealth. No longer will the innocent settlers need to fear. The day is near that we can truly focus on rebuilding the Commonwealth. Wow, that's interesting. The Robobrains are saying there's been a decrease. A true... The hmm. Interesting. Hubris is the name of her uh, robotics rep -gurds. First test runs on the robot eyes inside a controlled environment. Went fairly well. They're hostile or not. Not even sure how to manage a live test right now. Killed anyone, and these bots are sort of built to do that. But it's improving the allies. Could detect and analyze the threat of a weapon pretty well, but once you have one in the hand of the innocent, they immediately designate them as hostile. Ooh, that's terrifying. Testing group was able to pick out the dummies and created based on clothing and hostile actions. I think I spent a good week on creating different scenarios. I needed a live testing spot. Live testing. How to recon bot go out and find a raider camp based on the specs I uploaded. Lucky for me, all these groups tend to have a consistent look to them. When in, <laughs> that's a funny reference to the fact that all raiders totally look the same. Two lives saved. I'm not sure if I'll sleep tonight. Oh god, they were not two lives saved. They were two lives killed. That is pretty terrifying of an idea to think about how... At that early on the robots were already beginning to lie to her and she did a really cool like idea of live testing and she clearly did not want to be in charge of killing people but it uh, really didn't work out that well so there's a, also a side thing um, what is this oh is this that elevator that uh, we could go in and out of before hatch an acceptable or unacceptable hero no Ada you have to wait so where am I going, I wonder? Security screening room three. Oh, it is here! Does that mean if I had used this computer, I could have actually broken in and immediately... I could have. I heard that it was possible to fight the me or like to get to the mechanist without doing the fight. I bet this down. is the terminal that allows you to do that. You hack the terminal, you go down, okay. you show up, you walk in behind her, and you go, Hey, what's up? Speaking of which, I should wear the mechanist clothing. I want to take a note here. This armor not only looks really cool, um, it is massively protective. 108 damage resistance. I was not getting to that amount before. 
Uh, which is, wow, 72, 72, and an endurance increase, plus damage decreased from robots. This is significantly better than what I was doing. I mean, I really liked being able to use, like, the synth's left arm and stuff for sprinting and things. But honestly, and like this for slowing things down, but it's nothing compared to just the entirety of this armor. We might end up just wearing this, though debatably, damage resistance does have a limit when it stops being as useful, sir. That's a mirror. Arrow. Ha ah, now I'm the new mechanist! Ha ah. ha Damage resistance works in the fact that you have a certain amount of weapon damage that's done to you. If the damage is below the damage resistance, then that attack is cut in half. If the damage is above it, then it doesn't work. So the idea is that it minimizes it. The idea is that it minimizes the actual damage done to you, but reduction is significantly better. However, it just looks like a lot of fun to run around as the mechanist. So I'm gonna do that for a bit. We're gonna take our armor in here. We're gonna go grab our Mr. Handy Fuel, just continue some more looting, and then get on out of this place to complete the rest of the missions. Pressing a button and it's lifting me up. I'm guessing this is just a different spot in the Mechanist's hometown. Hometown, I don't know, base. It's kind of interesting. My arm is hurting. I probably should have repaired that before I've gone back up here. But I'm expecting to just go back to Sanctuary and do some general modifications. Plus, I want to bring uh, our favorite Ada back to her flying around awesome self. I absolutely love tinkering with things in this armor. And also, I changed Ada again just because I was like, ah, why not? Holy crap, I think it would be fantastic fun to be able to play a, like, if I could tinker with myself at this degree. I mean, she was flying around, and then we made her into, a, like, a robot that could carry stuff, and then I was like, I don't know, let's robo-brain her up. And now she's, like, robo-brained up sniper laser rifles and, like, shotgun laser rifles, and then these, like, sexy legs that she walks around on. So different than who she was, and it's just so much fun to mess with her this way. Now, I have a thing that I was looking forward to, and that was talking to Jezebel. Now, after what we've seen, the story of the Robobrains is heartbreaking. She's one of these minds of probably a criminal who've done terrible things, who is successful and preserved brain-wise. So, the thought process is that she was once a human, wiped clean of her memories, forced to follow commands, and now she's kind of broken because uh, she follows commands in this really weird backwards way. It's sad, it's like I want to give her a hug and I also want to put her down because holy shit, which terrible thing she's done. Anyway, let's uh, get a talk with her though. I expect you'll be leaving me behind. Typical. Just go away. Haven't you done enough to torment me already? Haven't you already interfered enough? Go away. Interesting. She doesn't... At least now I'll have time to work on my pie to the last digit calculation. Wow, you look ridiculous. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing you in action, but God, you do not look at all the classiness that was the flying version of you. At least now I'll have time Huh, so alright, well in that case, it seems that she's not actually providing us any cool information. I'm a little disappointed in that matter, but I mean... Alright, let's uh, go off and do the rest of the mission that we were expecting to do then. Rogue Robot, destroy the Rogue Robots. They are far away, which is gonna work out pretty well because that means we got a good adventure coming up ahead of us. Hop back into our power armor. Into our power armor, thank you. Alright, so now we've fast traveled to Hester's Consumer Robotics, and this is a spot that we actually have gone to when we were on our way to getting to the General Atomics building in the first place. Before uh, we even were on our way to doing the Robco stuff. And, uh,. We had, you know, our first meeting of a rust devil over here. I fell into the water like this as before as well. It's feeling pretty, pretty, you know, it's nice. I missed that. All right, let's uh, go ahead and cut some people with the sword because I think that'll be fun. Uh, hello, rust devil. Just a sword for fun. So you can feel the electricity through you. That's a cool armor you're wearing. Another rust devil. Um... Slice! Slice! It's not really working very well, so we'll bring out the heated super sledge again. Wow, there's a lot of dudes out here. And they're throwing grenades at us. And one of those grenades killed both their dudes. Tektron Devils. Oh man, look at Ada. She doesn't seem to be doing very well, though. Not a 
don't know. Ada, you don't seem to be rocking it very well with these equipment that you're wearing now. Hmm. Maybe I designed you to be like kill human opponents more than this. Clean and robotic, wrap around, just general stuff. Yeah, you don't feel as much fun. I think what I want to turn you into, now that I'm having you walk around and looking like this, is I think you'd make a lot of fun as like a cryo slash heating person who flies around and then lasers dudes. I think that's a kind of a cool way. I like that mix. I keep grabbing the wraparound goggles because they're really good way to money. You know, yeah, way to value kind of thing. Uh, we're heading in this direction. As you can see on the map, it's just south of where we're going and it's going to be our... Uh, a little adventure as we finish up fighting off some rogue robots from the Mechanist. Which I'm really hoping we're going to show up and they're all going to look at us and be like, aren't, aren't you the Mechanist? And I'll be like, yeah, that's right. Oh, Andrew's station apparently is uh, a bunch of raiders seem to be unhappy about this. Boop. A little whack. And a doggy. Hello, doggy. Have you guys ever tried the, um, uh, like, animal abilities, like Animal Friend, or using the one abilities where you're able to get people to fusion core removed, punch them through the door, that's fine. Or those abilities when you're able to look at not just robots, but, uh, humans or the wasteland creatures that are crazy? Hey, I know this area. Oh, you don't need that. You don't need that weapon. Don't worry about it. Wow, we're just demolishing people. Oh, you really missed with that fragmentation grenade. You survived more than one hit? I'm impressed. Nice. Now this is a spot that I believe um, I've gone here on a mission before. With uh, Nick. Yeah, it was here with Nick before. <gasps> Legendary Raider, where'd you go, buddy? I really want to meet you so I can get the cool weapons from you. Just picking up stuff as we go. I appreciate this. So, I normally like to play in third person when I'm filming. Honestly, in a power armor, that's actually really difficult to do comfortably. It's just, it feels really sluggish. It feels clunky. It takes up a lot of view when you're trying to play. Um, I have no idea where anybody is. And one of them is a legendary. And I want to hang out with the legendary. Hello? Are you upstairs? Are you downstairs? Ada, could you demonstrate where they are? Okay, there's a bunch of stairs over here to get you up. There we go. So they're on the roof. Oh, I just destroyed stuff. I was walking through it. I'm always surprised by that. Forget that I'm wearing a big giant thing of power armor and it makes me pretty damn powerful. All right, I think I can kill him in a single critical. Yep. I really hope it's gonna be, it's probably gonna be a gun. It's probably gonna be a gun. Nope, it's a uh, poisoner's resistance. That's actually not that useful of a uh, thing to pick up. It's cool, but it's definitely not something that's like, I mean, I haven't really found myself in poison resistant problems before. I've rarely ever poisoned, in fact. Can I sleep in power armor? No, you can't do that while in power armor. Let's cuddle up, fusion core humming nicely, keeping you warm. Oh, there's another uh, raider waster with some more stuff. Nice. I think that's really all I'm gonna do because, uh, Jesus, Ada. I think that's all I really want to do because this character is kind of coming to an end. It would be, like, I do want to do the U.S. Constitution and do that mission. But we definitely have a lot of equipment, a lot of high power. I mean, we have our sledgehammer. We have Ada, who I'm going to continue tinkering with. I mean, which is super fun to do that. But it's, like, as far as characters goes, this one is pretty up there. I mean, we haven't upped the difficulty back up to something higher. Let's go to hard now. Let's just see how I do. Put it back to quick save. I, uh, I find that for whatever reason, when I had it on survival, which was the original plan when I started filming these, I was getting just demolished because I didn't really have the equipment that matched the level. If uh, that makes sense. I'm going to try it another way. You know how when you play the game and you get a bunch of cool items and guns and you level them up and so you start at level one and then suddenly you're at level 15 with level 15 style weaponry. I totally went level one. I hear an assault tron. Oh, they're synths. I totally went level one straight to level 15 with level one equipment. And that really struggled. Uh, that, or that was very difficult to do. Hey, can I hack synths? You can't hack synths? They're not considered robots the same way, are they? I bet they are. 
I bet they've got to be considered so robots more or less. I mean, that's what it seems they should be to me. At least that's what I'd expect. I don't, I don't know though, now that I'm thinking about it. Are they really not considered robots? They should be. And the other thing that happens when um, you uh, level up, or excuse me, change the difficulty, is that the game definitely changes who spawns, not just the amount of damage that is dealt by the character or received by the character. Which is one of the reasons why I'm so excited about survival mode coming out, is that it doubles the damage hitting the main character and doubles the damage hitting the enemies too. Besides adding weight to ammunition and weight, more weights to food and that kind of thing, forcing characters to be a lot more intelligent about what weaponry they choose to bring with them when they're going on an adventure or going somewhere or whatnot. And that's a, I'm thinking about how I want to play survival because I feel like survival would be really interesting on a permadeath and I also feel like it would be very tough, especially because you can only save in beds. And the idea to me of saving only in a bed is feels very Dark Souls to me, which is very exciting. That sounds like a lot of fun. But it's definitely something that I think would be... Oh, it's a Myrler King. You know what? We're going to fight a Myrler King, and that will be the end of our episode. Oh, did you just get hit by Ada's bat? Wow. Wow, you're powerful. Powerful little sucker, aren't you? You've taken a lot of health out of me. Back to first person. Oh, shit. Woo. All right, hard was a good change. Um, things are tough. I feel like I have to back off. Be smart about what I'm doing. Heal up a bit. Oof. Oof. Heal up again. Ow, God. Myrlurks are like my ultimate enemy. From just so many builds have died to Myrlurks. Such a challenging group of things. Okay, there we go. Happy with that. Um, talking a little bit about what survival is going to look like. I think I should do a video about that so we can have a better idea of what I'm thinking. I just haven't quite decided what survival is entirely going to look like in this build kind of thing. Man, with the way the light's looking in HD, I look so, like, shiny. This is why you wear makeup when you're on TV is because of these things. Anyway, I'll, I'll mess around with the lighting some more and see if I can make myself look a little less shiny. But anyway, dudes, thank you so much for being here. It was a total joy to have you. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button underneath me. And, of course, may the ground rise to meet your feet. Wind always be at your back. And may the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face, dudes. See you later. Bye.